Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is part three of how to save your score to a high score main menu scene that's not in the game itself. The level, the game level. And I left off last time uh, when I was dying, uh, you die game over would pop up, but it would automatically take us to the menu scene. And you really couldn't see the you die game over text. You'd have like 0 0.1 seconds. And then it would just take you back to the other scene. But now I've, I've fixed it where once you die, it will say you die game over. And then it will take you back. It looks a lot better. So all I did was I added a script called... Uh, or is it check player and I I just put it on my game camera right here and I'm gonna load that up for you so uh, pause the video and uh, copy and paste this And uh, this pretty much explains what it does right here. Okay, so go ahead and run it and try it out. You died, game over, and then about two seconds later, it loads up the main menu. Cool. And if we go back to our diff script, I had to change it a little bit. And uh, just change, make your changes from what you see. I used to have the quarantine right here, but I took it out. And all we have is this dot game object dot set active equals false. That turns off the player. Okay, so make your changes. This function works. Okay. Now we have to go over actually saving the score, and I've already typed that out too, so I'm just going to show the script and explain it. So let's start with our coin script. So after we touch the coin, we collide with the coin, and the coin tag is coin, we're going to add our one to our coin value every time we touch a coin. So one plus one plus one. And then we're going to set our score by using player press dot set int. We're setting an integer. We gotta give this integer a reference name of string. So to make it easy, we're just gonna call it my score. And then you type in the actual variable that we used. This will add our score to player press. And then we want to destroy the coin. Okay. And if we go to our def script. Once the player dies, we want to save our score. So what you do is do player save, and this will save our score. And then underneath it, I just put a print so it will show you what the score is right here. And then game over te game over text dot set active true. This will turn on the it's you're dead game over. And then it turns off the player. Let me put that. Okay, and then our check player script that is on the game the game camera will see if the
player exists and if he doesn't exist then load the main menu after two seconds so if this doesn't make sense to you just pause the video on these uh, three scripts and just study it I mean I read out comments on what everything does and just take your time with it so I'll go over it one more time uh, go to your coin script so once we get a point we want to set the point into our player plus called my score and this will update your player plus uh, called my score okay and then if we go to our death script we want to save our score before we die so you do player press dot save this will save our score okay and now we need to go to our menu scene save scene save project go to your menu screen I call it main menu press play and our score is zero so we need to make it say what our score is text and this needs to be called a uh, high score text uh, high score text yeah. okay and we need to make a script called uh, grab score right here and I've already made it to go ahead and just copy and paste this and study it for a second okay you, ha you have to use the unity UI this allows us to use the UI canvas and then you declare a public text high score text this is where you drag and drop the text you made and then start it's going to update the uh, your score that you saved to the text that you made in the menu grabs the score from the other scene called prototype for me I don't know what you called it and then converts the integer to a string and before I do this uh, player press dot get int means you are getting the uh, score in the other script you're using player press dot set int that means you're setting it you're not getting it you are receiving the score by using get int and you just type in the name of the string that you called the player pref my score so you declared that in here or is it coin my score my score so it's getting my score and that is a integer it's not a letter or nothing it's a number so we have to use two string to convert that to a text so take your time and study it if you need to and I left comments on all the scripts so let's save that and I think I put it no where did I put it? Game logic, load level, play game. All right, let's add the grab score to the main camera and then drag your high score text to it and push play. And now it gives you a score of one. It might be zero for you. You need to actually play the game and collect a score so we'll do two this time and then die you died game over 
your score is now two. Congratulations. It, it works. The only thing we need to do now is if you beat the score of two, if you get three, it needs to uh, beat that score. It might already do it there. Let's just try it. Two and three. You died, game over. Oh, it actually does it. Cool. I remember in the older version that I had to use like an if statement and do if the player prefab uh, was greater than the current prefab, then change it. But it's actually working. So that is pretty much it on how to get your high score from the game scene to the menu scene. And uh, I might make a part 4 video on uh, how to reset the score. So check out that. Thanks, guys.